Howdy. So in this problem, we are told that the sprinter can accelerate with constant acceleration for four seconds. So four seconds, constant acceleration, and then the acceleration is zero. So at four seconds, uh, the sprinter reaches stop speed. He can run the 100 meter dash in 10 seconds. What is his speed as he crosses the finish line? Well, if the acceleration is constant, and you know we're assuming that he starts from zero velocity, as he said, he's doing the 100 meter dash, then the velocity is going to be a straight line. And after that, the acceleration is zero. So the velocity is going to remain constant. Uh, this is four seconds. He can do the whole thing in 10 seconds. So this means that the second section is six seconds. So one way to do it is to realize that um, the area under the curve of the velocity graph is the, the distance. So the, we have four seconds here, six seconds. The area under the curve should be equal to 100. And we do know a lot about, about um, these figures. We if we find this height over here, let's call it H. If we find this height, then we can do, well, actually we don't need to, we're looking for it. So the width is four seconds and the height is H plus the width uh, divided by two because it is a triangle. And then the area under the curve of the square or rectangle is six seconds times h, and that's it. And the whole thing should be equal to 100 meters. So four seconds divided by two, that's two seconds. So this is just eight seconds times h is 100 meters. So h, the height of this um, of the triangle and the rectangle to be 100 meters divided by the eight seconds. And so that gives you a height of 12.5, right? 12.5 meters per second. Okay, so the final velocity is 12.5 meters per second. All right, so yeah, this is a pretty simple um, problem if you know how to set up your graphs. Thank you.